okay welcome back guys so in today's video we have a question from chapter 3 of the beer and johnson textbook and in this question we have a 20 pound force that is applied to uh, the control rod ab and we know that the length of the rod is 9 inch and there is an angle uh, alpha in the question which we know is 25 degrees and we need to determine the moment of the force about point B by resolving the force into horizontal and vertical components. So it's basically the 2D shortcut that we covered in previous videos. We're going to use that. I'm going to put the link in the description below. Uh, feel free to check it out if you want to refresh your mind about that shortcut. Um, before we start with the free body diagram, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this content with your friends. Uh, it's going to help to grow the channel faster and let's get started so we have um the rod a b if you want to show it like that in here that is pinned at point b we have a force of 20 pound in here which we know is making 25 degrees here and this angle will be 65 degrees And we know this uh, so let's call our X and Y in here this will be the positive direction for X and Y and all we need to do is to find the X and Y component of this force so we know the X component will be 20 times cosine of 25 degrees and the Y component of the force will be 20 times sine of 25 degrees and I'm going to show the length of this with green. So this will be the Y component. We know the length of the rod is 9 inch, which means this side, which is the opposite to 65 degree, will be 9 times sine of 65 degrees. And this will be 9 times cosine of 65 degrees. Now that we have everything, we're good to go for our moment so what we are trying to find is moment about point b and we call counterclockwise positive as always so if we look at the the x component of the 20 pound force we'll see that it's going to make a clockwise moment which means it will be negative so we'll have negative the force is 20 times cosine of 25 degrees and the distance that we have will be the distance or the vertical distance to the line of action of the force which is what we have in here so if you continue the distance from here the vertical distance to the line of actions will be 9 times sine of 65 degrees so what we are doing is basically multiplying r and f so the first part is f and this part is r that's the 2d shortcut that we have so that would be the moment for the x component and if you look at the y component we'll see that the moment will be uh counterclockwise which means it will be positive and what we have is 20 this time sine of 25 degrees again this will be our f and for multiplying that by r or distance vector again this will be the line of action of the force and this distance which is 9 times cosine of 65 will be the the vertical distance for uh, this force and all we need to do is just to simply multiply these two and add that to the second part and if we do that we get for the first part minus 147.85 and the second part will have 32.50 
and since all the dimensions are based on inch and pound uh, the moment will be minus 115.7 pound inch and that would be the final answer the negative sign in here shows that the moment is counterclockwise and that would be the final answer for this question so basically for these 2d questions all we need to do is to uh, find the forces in x and y direction and after that it's easy enough to find the vertical distance and that would be uh, the strategy to go for uh, these kind of questions uh, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any specific problem in your mind then we can cover it in the next videos and you guys have a good one i'll see you in the next one